Hi, everyone. It is another episode of Life Possible with a Disability. And um, yeah, I'm laughing already. That's right. Um, but it's going to be really interesting today. So I have my coworker and friend, Jeff Constantino. And actually, Blair, I do not know your title, even though I met you twice. So um, we'll start with Blair introducing himself and what he does. And I've had the honor of meeting him in person a couple of times. Jeff always tries to share, spread the love a little bit and let me meet, meet all the important people in his life like Blair. So take it away from Blair and then we'll let Jeff introduce himself. Thank you for the kind intro. I didn't know that I was uh, you know, part of the important people group, but uh, back to your original question. Um, Blair Casey, I'm the Chief Impact Officer of Team Gleason Foundation, and my responsibilities include overseeing our overarching program services, uh, as well as have a focus on partnerships uh, that drive innovation for accessibility. That's awesome. I think Impact Officer is like the best title ever. I, uh, I'm, just, I'm just saying. <laughs> I aspire to be that one day. Okay. So Jeff, um, tell us about you and what you do. And my name is Jeff Costantino. Everybody puts an N in it, but it's Costantino. Costantino. Did I um, say it wrong? I'm a assistive impact technology professional. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I've been working with uh, Blair and Team Gleason for roughly around eight years to nine years. Um, and we've we've worked with Steve Gleason. We've worked with uh, doing his custom wheelchair and learning all the innovations and and great stuff that's coming out in the future. Um, been doing this for about 30 years, going on 30 years. I feel extremely old lately, um, but 30 years doing this, and uh, I'm looking yeah. forward to this, Darren. It's going to be awesome. Let's rock I and know, roll. I'm so excited. So we'll start with a little history um, because I think this is the the fun part. And it's, and it's how all this came about anyway. So, um, so Jeff used to own his own assistive technology business, CRT business. And, um, so he, I worked with him. He was my ATP for many years. Um, he's been in my bedroom fixing my chair before we, um, we got, we got to be, we got to be friends along the way. And when I was a social worker doing discharge planning at neuromedical, I would send, as much business his way as I could because he's hilarious, which Blair's not going to like that I just said that. Um, but <laughs> I enjoyed his company and he's a really great ATP. Um, and then Jeff, you kind of helped me make the transition from social worker to working for New Motion. So why don't you tell? Yeah, you we were at the uh, Biala conference and Mike Callahan, who was my um, uh, VP for the Gulf South wanted to meet Karen and he was just like, she just lights up a room. We need to get her on New Motion's team some way, somehow. So um, I introduced Mike and Karen at that Biala conference and and Mike uh, Mike kind of took it from there and the rest is history. And I've told her from this from from the very beginning, she's gonna do incredible things and she's she's certainly doing it now. Oh, thank you, Jeff. I see. That's why I like to him to tell that version of the story because he says I light up a room, which I mean, who doesn't want to hear that? Um, it was I like really, it. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I really was that I was talking to everyone in the room. I was demoing that robotic exoskeleton and he's like, who's the girl that doesn't shut up in the wheelchair? Um, <laughs> and then he said, have you ever thought about going into sales? And my response was, what time would you like me there? I was kind of ready to hang up the social work thing. Although, you know, shout out to all the social workers. It's a hard underpaid job. Yes, so um, next, how did you, how did you two gentlemen meet? And uh, yeah, let's go with that story. Cause that's, that's amazing. <laughs> do you want to start or do you want me to <laughs> take it away? Um, I was contacted by a therapist to um, evaluate Steve when Steve was ready for his wheelchair um, to start the process. And uh, I got to meet Blair that first day. Blair at the time was Steve's caregiver. Am I right? Yeah. And um, we just, we hit it off. We hit it off. This guy, he's a genius. Don't let him fool you. He is a genius. He can speak Mandarin Chinese. He can speak Spanish, of course. He can speak like five different languages. I really think he's a spy for Russia, but I haven't confirmed that yet. I'm wow. working on no, he is a genius. He has he has helped me um, 
I really do look up to the guy. He's just been incredible help for me as I've grown as an ATP in this industry. Um, he's been the type of person that has really stepped in and, and he cares about what he does and you can tell the passion that he has. And it's, it just, we, we've been in love ever since. Then. Oh gosh. Yeah. Blair, you want to um, defend yourself? <laughs> uh, yeah. Actually, he's referring to the, my, my evil twin who no longer exists. So that person that's in the past, you know, long hair guy, uh, I remember him, but it's a long, long time ago. <laughs> in all seriousness, you know, I can tell from the first time I met Jeff, you know, what I've realized now and what we do and how we do it, um, it takes a personal approach and an approach with trust. You know, and the first time I met him, you know, all kidding aside, it was his focus on Steve uh, and Steve's wife, Michelle. And it was genuine, right? And that comes first is someone who really cares. And then simultaneously, how knowledgeable he was about all the available options, you know, and, and, in hindsight, when I look back and, and to think how far we've come, it's kind of something that we want to see across the industry or industries, if, if you will, is somebody who puts the person first, the family first, and brings all the available options there. And that's what he's done from day one. And since then, you know, we kid and cut up, um, but we're also very serious about, you know, what we expect uh, out of the people that work with the communities that we care about. And Jeff is a driving force with that. Yeah. And that's part of it. That's, he was always like that with me too. You know, we had to take my whole life into consideration, your whole lifestyle. You have to know the person and then you have to know all of the equipment that's out there and how to marry those two things together, um, uh, to do it. It's an important job and Jeff does it very well. And with, a, a very caring heart for sure. Um, no, I'm making me blush. Look at the top of my head. It's not a shot. <laughs> it's all sweat. Oh, is it? If, I mean, if you fast forward, you look at the years that he's put into this, uh, you know, and, and also looking at new motion and, and where new motion is now, he's taken what he's learned. He's seen what's working. You know, he started to apply it right for the greater good and to really replicate the knowledge and access um, for emerging solutions. So we look at the time frame where we were then and where we are now. You know, it's exciting. And, and what yeah. he's created um, has a movement. And, and, and I'm really excited about what it's going to mean for the industry moving forward and having new motion really spearheading it and Jeff really being one of the drivers um, along with new motions executive team to see this through. Yeah. Speaking of that, Jeff, you um, decided to start the ATP ALS council um, yes. and I'm honored to be a member. Um, yes, so I'm why don't you tell us a little bit about that and, and how you think that's going to help new, both new motion and team Gleason. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, when, when I, when I was brought in and, and Steve was getting everything together and I saw how team Gleason was coming together and, and how things were just moving forward and how this technology that Steve was asking questions in the very beginning. I mean, the knowledge that this dude had in the very beginning was just, it just blew my mind. And, um, he asked about, you know, getting certain things set up as he progressed and and certain drive controls and and you know being able to use his eyes um and just the people that he surrounded himself by blair being one of them and then it just kind of grew and to where we are now i wanted that i wanted to be part of that i wanted to kind of drive that from where i could drive it from and where i could drive it from was our industry so i thought to myself you know we have at New Motion, we have some great minds. We have a very, very good ATPs that work for this company. And I wanted to collaborate with these ATPs that were around the US to where we could have a team together with New Motion to, to help our clients with ALS, to know that, you know, as you go through this journey, that we have a team built and we're ready and prepared to help you with that, with technology. And um, that was my goal. And so I, I wanted to get the best of the best, the guys who worked in all of these clinics from around the U.S. with our company. And we formed this this council. And it's just uh, it's it's been incredible. And, you know, when when we were talking, Blair and I, I was talking with him. And when I had this idea and I went to him and I said this, I really feel this can make a difference. And he looked at me and he was like, finally, what have you been waiting for? You know, <laughs> this is, this is exactly what we need. This 
So, so this partnership, um, you know, with this council, we've developed, and I'm, I'm going to let Blair, you know, dive into that, but um, we've developed a partnership together to really um, move forward to that next level when it comes to technology and, and how things are working and how we can continue to keep our patients independent. Yeah. And uh, Blair, I'll let you jump in with that. And I think your example of, you know, the, your experience with Steve and, you know, me being there, it's watching somebody you're close to lose, lose abilities. It's not easy, right? Especially somebody that came from such a physical background. Um, but the emphasis on all the tools that, you know, Jeff brought to the table just to keep Steve independent, right? When something would go, there was another option and there was another option. And although it wasn't easy, there was always a creative creative way to ensure his independence. Um, and that's, that's the evolution of innovation, accessibility, and technology, right? He found solutions, you know, he saw it was working, and in creating the council, you know, there's, there's plenty more innovative, accessible solutions that are emerging, right? right. We need to put this in front of people, we need to give people access, but that takes knowledge of access, right? To be able yeah. to well inform, you know, a, a person that needs these technologies and equipment, how to get them, what are the benefits are, and have something for them across their journey. One size doesn't fit all, right. but a good novel ATP is able to provide all the resources, all the access throughout. Yeah, so because different clinics and different parts of the country are going to have access maybe and knowledge of different types of technologies. And now everyone knows about all the technologies. It's not just that. It's also figuring out how do we pay for these things? Um, right. What, you know, what it's, um, what are, what are the resources available? What's covered? What isn't? And what are the alternative funding sources? And to be able to share that and make sure that all of our ATPs that serve our customers with ALS are, have like the best knowledge that's out there in the moment and it's changing all the time. Yeah. And I mean, that's, that goes with the saying, I mean, knowledge is power. If we can all be on that same page and see things that are working and, um, be ahead of that, ahead of the pitch, right. we're going to, we're going to continue to, to move forward with that. Until there's a cure for ALS, you know, technology and equipment is that cure, right? And it takes a team, it takes a village. And that's what the council is, and that's what New Motion represents, right? It's a group of people that put the person, the patient first. Absolutely. And our collaboration, our partnership helps identify tools to really increase independence, right? As we both work together to provide yeah. the best. What would you say the, there's, so there, this is a five-year partnership, and um, there's going to be benefits in, for New Motion and hopefully for Team Gleason as well. Can you highlight some of those, those um, benefits? Absolutely. I mean, if you look at benefit right, right off the bat is what new motion provides and, and a customer service, right? And the ability to create a council, you know what I mean? And, and looking at this partnership, fast tracking access to, for example, ability drive, the ability to, to drive your wheelchairs with your eyes, right? Through talk technologies. This didn't exist three, five years ago, right? This is something that is revolutionary. Um, and, and through this partnership, getting this out there more, also providing education for it from an ATP standpoint, simultaneously to a clinician standpoint, right? It's, it's far too often we get set in our ways and you can't teach an old dog new tricks. The motion's looking to change that perception, yeah. right? That to me is, is what excites me and Team Gleason because we put the people we care about first and we need a fast track access. And simultaneously, we need to change legislation to ensure people can get the technology that they need and require, and it's funded and coded. Yeah. It has to happen. And yeah. that, that's something that we'll be working on together through this partnership that I'm very proud of. Well, that is my favorite thing in the whole wide world to do, is to go to legislators and explain to them the technologies we need and why we need them, how in the longer run that saves them money. It's, you know, and by keeping people independent and taking some pressure off caregivers and I could go on and on. A lot of people to live their lives, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's purpose is different. But if you don't have the tools to be able to continue to find your purpose in life, try it, right? If yeah. you're making these rules and regulations, put yourself in those anybody's situation. Try it. You know, you 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 don't understand it till you feel it, know it. And unfortunately, it, it takes being affected by it, by someone that you love and care about to actually want to make that change. The change needs to happen. Yeah. yeah. 
Which is great because Steve has fought so hard every step along the way and he puts himself out there, right? And he um, he teaches people who might not be paying attention, who don't know the world of ALS or the world of wheelchair users at all. And he goes out and uses his his voice and his presence to explain that to the masses. Because as much as I'd like to think that, like, you know, when I go into those offices as a wheelchair user, uh, which most of you know on the podcast, I'm you can't see it, which drives me nuts on a, on these platforms that my my disability is not visible. But I've been in a wheelchair for 34 years, and so, but when somebody like Steve Gleason, um, you know, puts his name out there and goes into these offices and speaks with these people, and um, he makes huge change for everyone, and it's a it's a beautiful thing to see. Yeah, and it's. You know, with New Motion being part of this agreement with Team Gleason, it's going to, you know, when new technology comes out and things are brought brought to the table, Team Gleason is there, you know. Team Gleason has really been at that head as far as leading and looking and pushing because of Steve's will and drive to find that that cure. And like, like Blair was saying, technology right now is the cure. And mm-hmm. New Motion is going to be able to access and have that ability to work and know, hey, there's some pretty crazy stuff coming out. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? There's stuff coming out that so we're going to. Yeah. Team Gleason probably great. has access to technologies or people come to them with with these innovative yeah. products. Right. And so then we can kind of help in that way. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. We yeah. we're been fortunate that as we've grown and we, we receive over 400 requests a month for technology and equipment. Um, we have, and I say with confidence, one of the best teams, right, to evaluate emerging solutions and in the meantime, providing the best. You know, our specialists and our associates are only growing. And uh, without them, we wouldn't be able to provide what we do, but also the opportunities that we get. Uh, every month we, we have a tech and equipment opportunities meeting and we'll get 50, you know, new tech opportunities and equipment from around the world, not not just U.S. based. Right. Um, and having this collaboration, this partnership, we we understand what our strong suit is, right? But we also understand the importance of knowledge and access and education. And that's what you know Jeff brought to the table and a new motion brings to the table. And that's what changes things, right? Mm-hmm. Our Working mission's together. definitely aligned in that way. We want to bring the latest and greatest to, to, to all of our customers and to anyone living with ALS and make sure that they live their best life. Um, in the most independent way possible. That's absolutely right. So there is a wheelchair guide coming out. You guys, somebody want to tell me about that? Yeah. Um, you know, we actually put a wheelchair guide out uh, a few years back and Daniel Vance, who's our lead technology specialist, you know, he always looks at something like this as in how do we put information in front of the end user? Right. So the end user can make a well-informed decision. Um, and that's been his focus is, you know, Steve was hungry. Steve wanted to learn everything himself, but we know that everybody's situation is different, right? Some people get overwhelmed. Now, if you have access to information, access to information before and after, per se, an evaluation, right? You're able to ask questions and feel more confident. New Motion does its part, but, you know, we want to empower, you know, the client, which I hate to use that terminology, um, to have access to what's available. Right. Because as we know, solutions change, you know, solutions emerge. There needs to be education information. And and that's what this wheelchair guide is, is to help them out before and after to be prepared to work to the best of their ability. Right. With an ATP or a clinician. Right. And so New Motion is helping to sponsor, I think, the wheelchair guide. So very excited because of the council. Right. We as funny as he is, you look at you know, the expert tips and, and all the different areas that we work together on. And it's all, everything that we work on, when we see highlighted sections, uh, New Motion's participation is there through not just the collaboration, but because of the expertise, right? And that's that's the most important part. The partnership gives us the ability to do it, but the expertise allows us to be confident. Yeah, that's real important too. Like when you're a, when you're recommending something or you know that you're putting something in a new motion at ATP's hands, to know that we have um, this council built, to know that we've had this experience and to be able to 
trust that when we are handed the football that we're going to run and score a touchdown. That's yeah. that's <laughs> use football terminology because um, I'm kind of a dumb jock in certain things. I thought you were anyway, going guys, to say because Steve played football. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. I would have said because, you know, Mike Swinford has expectations and you guys see those expectations <laughs> yeah. through. Um, yeah. And, and I'm also 46 and I still play flag football. So there's yeah. a fun fact. Fun fact. Two, more <laughs> touch, two more touchdowns and I and will. Two more ACLs. Two yeah. more touchdowns and 20 right, ACLs. Right. And then I have relived my childhood the way I wanted to. He plays softball too. If yeah, you didn't know softball. That. Yeah. And, and very good at soccer, except sleep or not. Yeah, my calves. Are huge. <laughs> power so, lifting. Power. Yeah. That's not very calves. I do. Yeah. I have really. So that's probably my best. What are your best attributes? I mean, oh, my wow. best. You need to kind yeah. of say it. I should have wore shorts. I definitely should have worn shorts. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Which is why you can see why I chose him for my ATP. Not only is he extremely knowledgeable he's a gigantic goofball and that's why people love him that's what, what, what could be more fun <laughs> than that um so so the storytelling because god knows that's the most entertaining you know when at new motion when we do our social media we like to tell customer stories internally we tell employee stories i think the stories are what brings a message home you know it's um stories like steve and so many others out there living with ALS, you know, and what they can accomplish when they have the right technology. So I think we are also collaborating on some testimonials and stories to kind of put out there um, to, yeah, show people what we're doing. Yeah, definitely. We got, um, we're working uh, with a client right now that we're coming, you know, out with a testimonial. This, this guy. Don't, give, don't, don't tell him everything. You got to give him a teaser. Just a teaser. <laughs> so how do I, you just, you just said it. There's this great story yeah. that actually showcases right. Right, the importance of our partnership and our collaboration. And once you see the impact that it had on a family, an individual with ALS, and that family, that's the importance of, of the, the, the storytelling and the testimonials. Right. You said it earlier about Steve's story. Every individual story is important, and stories are what people gravitate towards, right? Stories create change. Right. And that's what these testimonials are. What he said. <laughs> right. That's why he's the chief impact officer. No, it. And yeah, I would have completely vomited the whole story for yes. you right now. And right I would now. have ruined everything. So yeah, you gotta you gotta check. And then also what I'd like to do is is develop, you know, for 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 clients who are newly diagnosed, they can start to not just have the wheelchair guy. But we can have some testimonial videos out there that they can see the progress or, you know, they can see how technology has helped this person from the beginning yeah. to as they get and progress. And if they can't use the joystick, what's the next option? So yeah, and the smiles on their faces, um, that yeah. whole picture is worth a thousand words thing. It really is. It's the truth, right? And it's part and it's why we do what we do. And I don't tell anyone this, but like, I would probably do all these same things if no one paid me. And, um, yeah. I want to let you know and go on the record that yeah. you're already on the record. Yeah, on the record. <laughs> you can like, can you edit that part? Just that part right. Out. We'll cut that part out. Right. Is that, oh, it's 2243. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you, Jeff. Austin. Austin check that part. Yeah. Make sure we don't want that out. I think the point is, is that like, we all think our jobs are amazing because every single day, hopefully we get to make a difference in, in, in someone's life in some way and to make it, um, you know, more fun, uh, more able to engage with their families. When I see Steve with his kids and just like anybody else with their children, um, working, um, you know, being productive member of society, whether that's, you know, volunteer work or employment and getting out and enjoying everyday life with their kids. Like that is what we do all this stuff for every single day. So yeah. if you're not here on, on this earth to help, you know, what are you here for? If you can't I mean, and share what yeah, you learned. Yeah. I mean, okay. I'm 46, Karen. And I'm starting you said to that like, three times. So for the record, I'm, I'm 53. I'm so if 46. you think that's old, I'm going, I'm, I'm super annoyed with you. Yeah. I'm, well, I, I, I just know like it's crazy how, you know, maturity as you age as you get into this this maturity this, area 
I'm telling you, you're always learning. You're always I agree with learning. The learning part, but get back to the maturity. The part maturity part. level, yeah. Like, is that, He's sorry. always <laughs> learning. <laughs> Forty-two uh, is 40, forty-seven. I think I'll fully mature, but I, I'm thinking right now. I'm just seeing. Just things stick with I'm, always learning, Jeff. Just always, stay. yeah. All right, we're gonna go with always learning. Ready and go. Always <laughs> learning. So you, you know, it's it's we're we're really. I'm seeing things at a, from a different perspective lately. And it's like, um, you know, we all have wants, everyone has wants and needs and everybody needs to be able to feel like there's somebody out there to help you. And we're all trying to help in one way, shape or form. So I feel like if you continue to go through life to where you're closed minded to where you're not doing something to, to move forward and to help someone that's what gives me the buzz is to be able to help somebody and to be able to make sure that I never want to have that selfishness. You know what I mean? I never well, want I to think be that's like- part of your success, Jeff. I mean, you, and you have been very successful in your company and in your career and, and coming up with these, with these new ideas and, and you're really good at forming relationships. Um, clearly you have amazing taste in Blair and myself, uh, as far as friends go. Um, yeah. I could have gone a different direction. I'm going to like just you, which I'd have been like, absolutely, I get it. But thanks for including. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm really thankful to work for New Motion and knowing that they because we're always pushing the envelope like just a little bit further, um, and yeah. and making sure that we are doing the absolute best for our customers that we can. And I think part of the reason I love this podcast is because I think there are a lot of things that happen internally at New Motion that nobody knows about that our customers don't know about, and um, you know, and it. it it's part of, well, are we perfect? No. And I don't think there is a perfect company out there, but I love being able to share what we're doing with team Gleason and for our ALS clients and, you know, fast tracking these technologies to get them to them as quickly as we possibly can. And, and, um, and whatever the best configuration is for that particular person at that particular time. So kind of, um, I guess we're kind of coming to an end as sad as that is. Uh, I, 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 I want to kind of piggyback on what you just said, okay. because, um, you know, again, 30 years doing this, almost 30 years doing this, I, I've seen the evolution to where we are to this day. It's that, you know, for, for a client who has lost the ability to be independent, the mentality of, you know, the industry is if it's coded a KO 108 or if it's a miscellaneous code to where we don't have that coding, then I'm sorry, we'd love to try to help, but there's no, there's no funding or coding because of the miscellaneous KO 108 code. And that's kind of how the mentality has been. And this council and, and the partnership with Team Gleason is going to really move that narrative forward and really expose that because yeah. having these testimonials and by developing this new technology, we're going to now show that uh-uh, there is a way yeah. and this is the way. And here is a video of the way working. So guess what? You cannot use that excuse anymore. Mm-hmm. And, you know, for us to, to be leading that charge and to be going forward with that. I mean, I'm dude, I'm pumped. Do that. I'm pumped. Woo. I'm really pumped. So no is not an acceptable dude. answer. There are so many times that in this, in my 34 years of having a disability where no, like no, they started telling me no, like day one out of the hospital. And especially in this situation where the disease process is progressive, that is no is not an acceptable answer. Period. No, you're right. Well, Blair, what do you have to say about that? I mean, I, I feel like, you know, looking at, as Jeff mentioned, where the industry was and where it is now, the people that we care about, you know, face so much adversity, right? And without having a village, having a team of people that are on your side, you know, you succumb to the challenges, right? And, and I looked for years, there was solutions that became available but up to you know this point, if it wasn't for the past few years, all these new emerging solutions, I deemed it they go to Innovation Island and they die. And people, even though I know they existed, there wasn't a way to get them into the end user's hands. There wasn't a way to get them into more people's hands, right? And I think that's that's where the industry's changed. And I think in largely it's due to 
you know, you look at new motion and, and really seeing what the future holds, already understanding the need, but seeing what the future holds and assembling, you know, a group of people in this council that come hell or high water, right? Mm -hmm. Their passionate persistence is going to see it through. And I think that being a part of a culture of a company yeah. is undeniable and it's, it's going to snowball. That's awesome. That's amazing. Yep. And um, so I will see you in the halls of DC <laughs> where we will continue to fight for codes and making sure that we, um, yeah, that there are ways to cover this technology to keep people moving and independent and productive. So um, this is a lot of fun, really informative. So I had a great time. Did, yeah, I, I had a great time too. Yeah, so I mean, um, let's give a shout out to the, first of all, if no one's, if y'all haven't seen the movie, um, what, like, what's the movie called? Cause he, cause Jeff has a, a little, Bound. <laughs> what? Homeward Bound? Waterworld. No, uh, I was, I was Bingo. the seal on, with Kevin Costner. There was a seal. Oh, 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 oh I was God. the seal. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. No, not that one. Steve's movie. Oh, the documentary. Yes. Oh. <laughs> No, I mean, it was a great movie. Uh, the Gleason documentary, which is on Amazon Prime, you know, really was just, it started off as when Steve was diagnosed, you know, if the experts were right and he had two to five years to live, he wanted to leave the best of himself on to his son. Um, and he did that through video journals. And some of his friends specifically, you know, Scott Fujita was like, you got to do something with this, you know, and, and uh, Steve's wife, Michelle, and her friend, Kimmy Culp, who she grew up with, who's a producer, you know, they, they quickly convinced Steve to do something with it. And those video journals amounted to over 1,200 hours of footage. Wow. Um, and the videographers, you know, editors, part producers, uh, Tom Mitten Small and David Lee became two of my best friends. Both were at my wedding. Um, they got it to a, a producer um, and Clay Tweel uh, and Seth Gordon and Amazon bought it at Sundance and it's a great depiction of, you know, the, the beauty of family, but also the difficulty of a terminal illness, um, ALS, but also how you can, how you can live your life and be yeah. happy and when it comes with struggle. So it's on Amazon prime, uh, Jeff's in it. He's, he's, he's part in it. So I look him up. He's on IMBD. Is that what the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. I, uh, yeah, yeah. On the, and, and water world is the other one. I was oh on. my God. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. So, and then if anybody, <laughs> I know we'll, we'll talk about your movie girl later and it's the whole separate, I feel like it warrants a separate entire podcast just to talk about Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> your soccer, your soccer career and your movie career. Uh, yeah. Um, I did. I if anybody work with Pele, you know, when you were in into fencing. Yeah, that was great. But you were in great shape. Until I got hit in the eye. Oh and then, He's got a glass eye now. I do. It's on the right side. I feel like I've completely lost control of the podcast. But oh, you're good. Totally Every fine. time he's throwing like fuels his yeah. fire. Yeah. <laughs> it makes the room brighter. It's because you have a beautiful spot. It is. I it's bright. Laugh. It's I, back yeah. here to make it just fall for yeah. me. So incredibly amazing and beautiful. Yeah. So oh. sorry. You know, you know oh. Aaron was Miss Wheelchair America. Oh, I did. Wow. Know. Yeah. yeah. It's not a that, beauty contest. Did you get a crown? I and, did. It's yeah. huge. Yeah, yeah, wore it all over. I wore the crown. There's a picture of me with the crown for some reason that does not surprise me it, at all. And it's it's and, an advocacy organization for the record. So just to be clear, um, so <laughs> anyway, um, Still so why it, say that? I mean, get back to that. Yeah, get yeah. back to that. So more, um, so if they if people want to reach out, what's the best way to find Team Gleason if they want to donate, get involved? TeamGleason.org. Um, obviously, we're on all the social media channels. Uh, if it's somebody that's in need or interested in, in learning more about the program services that Team Gleason provides, you just go to TeamGleason.org backslash the assistance. Or just go to the website. It's big, bold. Yeah. You can see what we uh, what we provide through our program service to people living with ALS National. I'll add it in the show notes, and it's hashtag no white flags. Love that. All right, guys. Y'all are super fun. We'll do this again and uh, have a... Have a beautiful rest of your week. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. All right, Talk to you bye. later. Bye. Yeah.